everyone is self-employed. The biggest mistake you can ever make is to ever think you work for anyone else but yourself. Even if someone else signs your paycheck for you all your life, the most valuable people in any organization are the people who treat the company as though it belongs to them. They see everything that happens as affecting them personally. They're not the nine to fivers, the no hopers that say, yeah, well, I go to work, when I'm not at work, I don't think about my work. These people, somebody has told them that's a clever way to think. It's the way losers think. Winners think about their company, and when they're not there, they think about how they can do it better. When something happens in their company, they take it personally because they see themselves as highly responsible. As a result, they're paid more, they're given more educational opportunities, they're promoted faster, and these are the people that eventually, like cream, rise to the top of every organization and every industry, the top 3%. The next key to becoming a self-made millionaire is to develop a clear sense of direction. Developing a clear sense of direction means that you need to become intensely goal-oriented. We find that all successful people are goal-oriented. There's an old saying, you can't hit a target that you can't see. You've got to know what you want in every area of your life. Some years ago, I worked with the Hunt Oil Company in Texas. The Hunt Oil Company was founded by H.L. Hunt, who became the wealthiest self-made multi-jillionaire billionaire in the world. At his peak, he owned 200 companies and had a royalty income of $3 million a day. Most phenomenal man, by the way. And he was interviewed by a friend of mine on television before he died in the early 70s. And he was asked, what are the secrets to success? He said, the keys to success have only been two through all my life, and I will tell you what they are. He said, number one, he said, decide exactly what it is you want and write it down and make a plan to achieve it. And number two is determine the price you're going to have to pay to get it and then resolve to pay that price. Now, where the law of sowing and reaping cause and effect, I learned an additional point to that. I learned that your current life today is the result of the price you've sown up to now. It is whatever you've put in, you get out. So whatever you're getting out today is a result of what you've put in. If you don't like what you're getting out, what you have to do is you have to put in something different. What I found is this, is that life is always just in the long run. So, so therefore, life says this, is there's a price you have to pay and there's two qualities. First of all, you have to pay the price in full for your success of study, preparation, hard work, and so on. And second of all, you have to pay the price in advance. You don't get it afterwards. The way the world works is first you put in what you need to put in and then you get out the rewards. So you have to ask yourself, what is the price that you have to pay to achieve the success that you desire? and you have to write it down and make a plan and work on it every day. Now let me give you a quick exercise